Hello and welcome, I'm Skunky. Uh, I've got a new setup for Red Ropes, a uh, strat that Red-Headed Peckerwood used to go for, uh, for the rope skip, that I thought was too risky, but uh, I timed it out the other day. It does save time, so we've got a new setup, so I will walk you through that. Uh, if you already know Rope Skip, um, that's good. Stand under this, uh, this block here. All right, we're gonna go up here, stand under this block, wait for the robot to shoot fire, wait for the fire to disappear. When it disappears, you go. You'll get close to him, but he'll throw another fire, which will boost you through him. And you should time it out so that you can just keep walking and you won't get hit. So then we're gonna do a short hop here, which gets us past the activation point for the ropes. And at some point, whenever you feel comfortable, activate your sub-weapon. We're gonna get a little past this blue barrier here, flip around real quick, shoot the shuriken, and then jump. Alright. So another thing, to guarantee you have the robot here, don't kill these balloons. Uh, if you know your enemy count, a kill count is good to where the robot's still gonna be there if you kill the balloons, feel free to kill the balloons. But I think on this save state, uh, it turns into the boomerang. It does. So we get off the ladder, ring around here, attack here, jump here, activate sub-weapon, wait, go, jump. Didn't time it right, but you get the idea. Uh, another thing you have to do is kill the balloon midair. Boom. Then you're there. Go over that a couple more times. Um, it's really not bad timing-wise, you just have to practice it a lot and get, get comfortable with it. And then the second setup for the rope skip is the same as it always has been. So it's really, uh, I've been practicing a lot for the past couple days, but it's very comfortable. There you go. Hopefully that's helpful. Enjoy. Goodbye.